in this video tutorial I will show you how to create app in Google developer console so first uh, in Chrome sign into your Google account first and then search this and then open this link console.developers.google okay then from here create a new project processing here okay now our project is created now we need a configuration file for this project so for that search in Google these lines and then open this link developers.google.com now if you are in this page and if you have selected another option then go to start integrating from that click on here okay. select <laughs> app of which we need configuration file package name of our Android project in which we want to implement this project for Google login so go to Android studio create a project I have already one Google login okay. now open manifest file and copy this package and paste it now select your country India I have you have your respective country now click here okay yes successfully now we need SHA-1 in the final step we will create this SHA-1 from our end studio project so again go to studio now you can see a gradle option here in the right corner click on that and then click here root then android and then double click on signing report okay here we have generated sha1 from our project if you can't see this from text here then click on this button you will you will have this text then okay so copy this SHA-1 and then paste it here then click enable Google sign in
okay we we have to do this process until it is successfully generated so now continue okay then click on download okay finally we have our json file so go to that folder copy that file Okay, and then then go to your project structure okay this is our project and in the folder of app in app folder paste our this Google service JSON file. Let us quickly show what it is. It contains info about our project. This is the project number, ID, client info, and other things. Okay. So that's it for Google part. Now we can, if we come here. see here you can see that Google plus API is now enabled don't click this disable button so that's it we have created our app we have created our JSON file and put JSON file in the app folder of your android studio project now how to implement all the code stuff then go to tutorial you will find all the codes and explanation of that this part is over thank you